hey guys what's up this is shivari from e gadgets for you and i'm actually shooting this particular video after a long long time because i've swapped with work yes there was a lot of projects going on but yeah this is important this is very important because i have a google pixel 8 over here actually this is my wife's phone the thing is that uh, she was using a secondary phone which is the samsung galaxy f42 and the geo sim the physical sim is in this particular phone and now she wants to use the dual sim capability of google pixel 8 by uh, converting that physical sim to e sim so uh, over here the first step that needs to be done is in your old phone you have to go to my geo application over there uh, and now some part of the video i will just uh, blur it for security reasons of course go to settings and over there uh, actually once you open the app you go to the breadcrumb menu and then settings and then the personal information in the personal information you will see email this build is very very important you have to make sure that email is added or else you have to uh, add it over there and then verify it also because it's important because the last part of this particular process will send a QR code to this email ID. I'll show it to you how to do that and so for that part the email part is necessary. Now uh, the second most important thing that you need to check is that your phone in which you want to use the eSIM that should be eSIM compatible which of course the Google Pixel 8 is and now I'm going to the phone. Over here I go to settings uh, inside the Google Pixel 8 and go to about phone. Now this is very important. Once I am in the about phone section over here, now uh, here I need to write down the IMI number for the slot 2 which is the eSIM slot because the primary slot which is a slot 1 is already taken up by a physical SIM. So I will write down the IMI number of the slot 2. Write down the IMI number over there which should be a 15 digit number. Now, uh, once you have copied the IMI number, you have to go to the EID section, which is a 32 digit number and you have to copy the EID number as well. Now, once those steps are done, uh, my very minutely make sure that you need to take out the old phone where the physical SIM is present. And in that particular phone, you have to go to the message section, the SMS section, go to compose message and you need to send an SMS to 199. This is a number that you should use if you are residing in India. Mind you, if you are outside India, uh, then you need to send it to a different number. Uh, the international number and the roaming charges will apply on that. Just remember, you have to activate your roaming pack, international roaming and the charges applicable will be that that uh, is chargeable for the international roaming pack as well. Anyways, since I am from India, I am sending it to 199. And after going to the text message section over here, here you need to type get sim, everything will be in capital G E T S I M, get sim in capital space the 32 digit EID number space the 15 digit IMI number. No special characters in there and just simply send it. That will be it. Send it. And now once you send that SMS, a confirmation message will come back to your number over here. As you can see over here, this confirmation message comes. Here you need to uh, write one, reply with one, the numeric one and send it to 199 only. You cannot reply to this particular message over here. You need to go back to the uh, message section where you have sent the previous message to 199 and you have to send one. If you select two, then the process of eSIM activation will not occur. So here I have written one and I have sent it to 199 and after doing that uh, again a confirmation message comes and along with that confirmation message this number of phone will come as you can see over here the GeoCare this particular phone will come and now actually in the call as you can see I have taken the call and in case you did not receive the call then there is an option to resend again you just need to type R E C A W L recall in capital and send it to 199 and it, they will again call again and then furthermore if the, you, even if that call does not come then you have to check that whether any third party apps like truecaller is installed over there which is blocking the call you just have to unblock it and accept the call this part particular part is very important once you receive the call then the final confirmation message comes that says that yeah the process of eSIM is going on and you have to wait for two hours so two hours it is and you have to wait nothing more to be done the next step we have to follow in the new phone and while we are waiting for these two hours there is one more thing that i need to show you is that the, as you remember that i have given uh, told you in the beginning of the video that the email registration in the geo app is very much important it's absolutely necessary so a qr code actually comes to this particular email id and this qr code will be scanned this is a particular qr code uh, that comes actually 
now guys actually waiting for a couple of hours i got the message that your new sim uh, car or eSIM for geo number has been upgraded so yeah it should work now so now i have to open the qr code that i received in my mail and once i open that qr code i have to go to the new phone where the eSIM should work and and now in my pixel device i'll go to settings and once i'm in setting i will search for network and internet and then if you scroll down you will find over here it says network and internet i go to network and internet and once i am here i have to go to download a sim instead okay sims add a sim set up an e-sim scan qr code from the network so yeah this is a qr code that i'm scanning checking network info set up your geo sim that's it so easy peasy go to set up this may take a few minutes and now it says activate your use eSIM. Go to settings to turn on your Geo SIM. So go to settings, Geo, just go ahead, use SIM, turn on, use Geo for mobile data. Yes, of course. I have the recharge done that way, improve mobile data coverage. It automatically switch to Airtel mode when it has better availability. I don't think so. No thanks. That's it. It's done. So you can see over here in the network section, two SIMs are coming. And yeah, it has started working. Easy peasy, just you have to wait for two hours and before that, some of the simple procedures and it's done.